Hey guys, it's Vic and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a vacant clothing haul because I leave for Panama tomorrow. Well, I'm like, what, 12 hours? Yeah. And I haven't packed yet, so I'm like also simultaneously filming up pack and prep. So I'm trying to do this now and then pack it for that video, which is the video that comes out, that comes out after this one. So y'all will see that too. But basically, I'm just going to show you guys everything that I bought for this trip. Aside from that, it's gonna be a cute little try on. Um, you're gonna see me like here, and then this me like here or here. I don't know where I'm gonna put it yet, but that's pretty much it. Um, the only thing that I've like really prepared for for this trip is my hair. As you can see, last year my friend hair not done, so I actually done it. So like, that's that. But I'm gonna try to speed this up so I can get to packing and not waste like too much time on those. Right, the first thing I want to show y'all are this. The first thing I want to show y'all are all the swimsuits that I got. I'm not going to try these on because I am a minor and YouTube will take down my video. But you guys can see them when I post on Insta. I'm going to put like where everything is from, how much it costs, and if I can, I'll link it. Don't call me a lot because I might not. But I'll put like where it's from and stuff on the screen. This is the first one. This is from Shein. Look, it has like flowers on it and it's pink. It kind of looks like lavender on camera, I'm not sure. But oh, also everything that I bought here is either in a size small. Wait, no, everything's in a small. Um, And then this is the top. So the story with this top is it's supposed to be like a bandeau top. So no straps. Why is it being goofy right now? like no straps and it's just supposed to be strapless but i kind of underestimated the size of my boobs and i bought a size too small so when i tried it on i had to convert it into like a tie back top thing and it's still cute but because that didn't work out i bought this top to wear with like these black bottoms that i already own and this top is so pretty this is from h&m so a size small this was on sale bro i scanned that clearance rack for this top and i found it and this is gonna be like my main tanning top because no tan lines and i don't even like tan for real for real but just in case i do that's gonna be my girl the last one i think that i bought for this is this blue tie-dye marble no this is marble this is a marble print and bro this looks so good on oh my god this gives like love island like bachelorette beach bag oh my god it eats so bad and yes i know these cups look small but trust they fit and then my favorite part bro this cover up this cover up if i can hold it correctly where to sleep at this cover up it is like full length i'm five three and this goes like all the way down to like my mid my mid leg so the pictures in this are about to eat they're about to eat all right, moving on to the shirts that I got. This is from Shein. A lot of these still have the tags on it because when I tried them on, I literally just put them back into the Shein bag and put them in my closet. I have not touched them until this video. So, this is the first one I got. It's surprisingly not that but it's a little like asymmetrical lettuce trim. I'm gonna have to like deal with like the shorts and like the t-shirts that I have and the trays that I wear because the one or two things that I really wanted to get that I did not get were cargo shorts, like the short one, not the one, and a mini cargo skirt. I have every bit. And yes, I wait till I have some stuff for you when I can find it, but like I want a person, I want some more. Like the long part ties and then like wraps around to the back 
and this part is like over her neck and like you can see what it looks like it's real classy real cute we love it over here and this is also the next top that i got is this my best friend actually like convinced me to get this top when we went out but it's like this skins type of material like this feels like butter oh my god i thought she was joking but when i tried this on i said what smoother than a baby's bottom i swear to god and it cinches you in like it gave our glass cold bottle this is from h m there's this really pretty like lilac color i'm obsessed i don't know if i'm wearing this over here because like i feel like it's a little too like constricting and panel is kind of hot but this is kind of giving airport fit when i come back we'll see next top that i got is this green tube top this looks so cute on i don't know why it looks like this like on camera but it's adorable it really is like white bottoms with this would eat so bad i love like i'm obsessed with this all right i didn't know what category to put this in but this is my airport fit and it's basically a jumpsuit it's flared at the bottom and y'all are getting pissed in this, obviously. But I love this so much. Like, it fits perfectly. I am a little short. Like, it's a lot longer than I thought it would be. But I really like the way it looks on me. All right, the next category we're going into are dresses. The first dress that I got, surprise, surprise, is also from Shein. It's a tube dress. And y'all know that print that makes your... English, and y'all know that print that makes your butt look good? That's, that's basically what it looks like this. <laughs> anyway, um, it's just a tube dress. It's bodycon. It goes all the way down to my ankles. Um, this is like non-slip. Like it's not moving. It's not gonna. You don't have to keep pulling it up and down or anything. And the material. I don't know what they're doing in that sheen factory, but them workers need a raise. This is smooth. This is soft. I can wrap myself up in this and be okay. I love this bag. And the next dress that I have, my sister actually gave to me. I've been plotting to get this dress for like two years now or ever since she got it. Okay, it might not look like much on camera, but I'm obsessed with it. And I like the way it looks on me. And that's all that matters. This is also from Shein, I'm pretty sure. But this is a, this is a medium, it's not as much. See how it's already given like kind of a illusion of a curve on here? That's how you know it's gonna look good on your body. Next dress I got from Shein. I have most of this haul is from Shein. Like, we should know this by now. Shein is just that girl. And the quality's been good for me. A lot of people have like bad experiences with Shein, but not me. <laughs> Every single time I need some, Shein. Oh no, I ran out of lashes, Shein. Gosh, diddly darning me costume for dance, Shein. And she's gonna pull through every single time. No, that shipping got me a little, hmm. But it's okay, it's worth the wait. But this is the next dress. It is like a tie dye with a slit on the side and a crisscross strappy bag. Now the first time this on, I absolutely hated the way it looked on me and I was not going to bring it. But you know, I'm running kind of low on dresses. Not gonna lie. So, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just rock with it. But it is really cute and I'm really obsessed and I need to wear this. Like this gives like sunset dinner. Like, that's cute. And I got another dress and chain, but my mother will not let me wear it. But I'm gonna show you guys anyway because it's adorable. Sure, you've seen this literally like everywhere. So it has cutouts on both sides and then it has like beads that wrap around. And then it has these two. Wow, well, nobody else is. And this goes around her neck. She doesn't like it because she says it gives too much cleavage. But like, whatever. So I got a dress to make up for it. That does not give too much cleavage. And this is from Rainbow. It is a very, very long dress with a miniature slit. Where is it? On the side and cutouts right here. And then it's just a tank, like neck. Okay, and then the last few things I got for the strip are from skin. And my same dress is currently MIA. I don't know. I saw it this morning before I started film filming this video. So I don't know where it disappeared to, but I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna put a picture of it on, on the screen. It's just a soft lounge dress in burgundy. Yacht! Sinyash! That's all I gotta say. And then I got the skim shorts and I want it, bro. 
ever since I bought these shorts, I have been plotting on buying the matching top. And every single time I go on that website, sold out. Kimberly is restocking everything but these shorts. Why are you restocking plushies and scarves and knit stuff in July? I want my neon orchid super cropped wear everywhere t-shirts now. But also my problem with these shorts is like, they're really, really see-through. Like they might not look see-through right now, but when they stretch and be put on your body, you can see everything under. So I don't see myself ever actually wearing these like normally, because even if I wear black underneath it, you can see it. So this is kind of giving like swimsuit cover up. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie and that's kind of sad to say but and they they look good they look good on they just can work on the coverage please thank you now this was a super fast haul but the absolute last thing to round this whole thing out are these sunglasses um where did I get these from rainbow I'm pretty sure but yeah BRB, gonna go put my phone on airplane mode. Do not disturb. Huge beach hat, like, you catching my drift? Are, are, are you getting, are you picking up what I'm putting down? This gives classy billionaire, this gives rich single auntie, this gives, mm, can I get a light cheese margarita? Wait, margarita? No, it's martini. Can I get a light cheese martini? Yes. I love, I like, uh, uh. I will be wearing these in the airport. Thank you. All right, and that is everything that I bought for my vacation clothing wise. I hope you enjoyed chapter one of Panama Pages and I can't wait to put out the rest of the videos. The next time y'all see me, you'll see the whole preparing and packing process for this trip. And then y'all will get into the actual Panama vlogs after that. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. If there's anything you want to see from me this year, especially for back to school season, because as soon as I come back from Panama, it is grime mother freaking time. It's time to lock in. Just let me know. Leave a comment down below. Um, tell me if you're going on any exciting trips this summer, even though summer's like basically almost done. Or if you already went on a trip, let me know. I want to hear. But subscribe to my channel, like this video, share, comment, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.